We have an air. Oh, here come the bombers. They're coming on in. He's oh! Okay, I thought the bombers were coming in. Turns out, naval artillery and bombers were coming on in. Hey guys, before the main video starts, if you want to support the channel, again, like, subscribe, or become a channel member. Every little bit helps, and I greatly appreciate everyone who watches this video. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Grayshot17, and today I am covering a 3v3 on the map, uh, Montherm? Uh, hopefully I got that right. This is, uh, well, I guess was part of the, uh, group of maps that came to, uh, multiplayer, part of the most recent, uh, group. I don't think I've played all that much of this, honestly. I think... The person backed out when I was going to play it. But hey, we'll see how the game goes. And if you have an awesome game, no matter what map it is, submit to my Gmail or Discord down below. Right now, we have ourselves Shoulder Guy. Definitely not a raccoon and definitely not a pineapple. Well, unfortunately for you, you are definitely going to be a raccoon and a pineapple because uh, I'm not going to say anything. So pineapple, raccoon, two Americans and a Brit versing. Uh, let's see. We got ourselves three dock players. All right, uh, let me just uh, minimize, not minimize, sorry. Let me minimize this stuff so you guys, can, you know, don't have to worry about just the mis miscellaneous stuff along the side. Y'all hype for the update? Oh, yes, I, I'm recording this the day of the update, but I haven't updated the game yet so I can do this replay because as soon as I update it, this replay is done. So, but Doc is, Dak is busted. All right, we'll see how you guys do against the Doc. Again, that's Game Goliath in the Lizard King, which again, Invincible. Oh my god. With Lizard League? Oh, good stuff. So many good things. Alright, so we have the high ground. We have, like, medium ground. We have the lower ground. And then we have the lowest ground. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see for, uh, guys, what we have. And again, it would be nice if I could just, you know, click on this and it would cycle between. But, uh, if, you know, can't, can't be that lucky. Because, again, it would be over here. It's like, oh, cool. You know, double click. Nope doesn't switch uh well hopefully the new patch and other things eventually fix that uh, let's see we have pathfinder so of course airborne for the american player this doc which is the lizard king has gone with uh bursaliri okay so running across the bottom portion of the map taking it middle portion uh we have pants grenadiers versing infantry section uh nothing too out of the ordinary uh let's see Armored support is what we've chosen. And definitely not a raccoon. Has not chosen anything yet. And same thing with the Brit. Alright. So Pineapple just holding firm. Again, we have this big street. And you really don't want to push across because that's negative cover. Or not. Or sorry, no cover. Uh, Flamethrower though, burning out the infantry. So even though they're in good cover, they're going to be burned out of the sector and forced back. You hate to see it. Or you love to see it if you're on the German side. There is a flamethrower coming to fight the Germans, but they have too much firepower now and should easily swat away that uh, rail engineer without too much of an issue. Up north, uh, how are the allies doing? Because mid, it's not going well. Uh, well, we have rangers on the field. So, let's see right now. Raccoon is pushing on up. Close range. Fla Man, those men are on fire, but rangers don't care. They're going to push forward and absolutely clear the hill. We do have Assault Grenadiers, which does bring up... An Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Not... Interesting. So, he went with the upgrade and then got the Assault Grenadiers. For a second there, I'm like, oh, it has to be uh, Vermont. But I'm like, no, wait, no. <laughs> wrong, wrong faction, wrong game. All right. He's pushing on up. Rangers still annihilating them. It's not even a fair fight. They might actually... Oh my god, they get gunned down. Hans! Pull back the truck, Hans! There's rangers on the hill! <laughs> oh boy. Rangers, actually pretty good. If they can bring up a, a medical truck or a way to heal those guys, that would be extremely beneficial for them. Right now, we have a cache going down and a flamethrower unit burning it up. I'm not a huge fan of this. I get that he went air and sea, which decreases the overall cost of it. Not a bad idea. You get a lot of resources. Here's the thing. That limits your ability for frontline forces. And, uh, yeah, Flamethrower just murdered that man. So, we have Raccoon losing, uh, I mean, he's losing squads. He did kill squads, so I guess it's more even. But the problem is more so, uh, you have game. 
that really doesn't have much to defend these caches. If the German player wasn't heading south and said regrouped and focused, you know, north, he could potentially kill a lot of caches. It's true, they're not as expensive, but still, it could be very uh, costly if you ma if you don't manage that correctly. Uh, but it does look like in the south, the American did actually prevail. It's a good job there. Both Americans pushing up again. Did I say two American and a Brit or two Brits and American? I meant to say two Americans and a Brit. Whoops. Anyway, Sniper hopefully can keep those Panzer Graders back. MG guarding this sector. Oh, wait. No, I definitely play in this map. I remember. I was just on this front because I turned the camera this way. Right. I, 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 I'm not used to seeing it from this direction. I always turn the camera in the direction I am fighting. I am weird like that. What's not weird is Rifleman going for the cutoff. So, actually, uh, all of the Axis resources have been essentially severed for the most part uh you got the south a little bit but i mean they need this back in order to get the munitions more munitions fuel you name it pants are enough. grabbing this position they have a medical truck behind them the americans are dropping in supplies we have another cash going down all right i mean i like the positioning oh i mean i like the cash let me rephrase that the cash is 15 munitions that's pretty solid stuff but also you have a medical facility here, which I guess you can pull back to, which, you know, helps out a bit. But how effective will it actually be? Because will he hold that position? Panzergrade, you're trying to put up a uh, push up, but unfortunately Rangers with bazookas forcing the truck back and killing the truck. That man's glitching out, but that's fine. Grenade is thrown right on the blob. Or, I guess two men, it's not really a blob. But still, Rangers still doing a lot of work. Panzer Grenadier is hoping to hold him back. He does, or they do, hold back the Rangers, but they're probably not going to go very far. Again, uh, Raccoon doing his best. But it seems like, was it Goliath? Yeah, Goliath is holding effectively. Or, let me rephrase that. Uh, Goliath was holding effectively. But I don't think we'll be able to break them. Nope, there's more troops coming in. There's no way. There, yeah, there's... That's not unlikely. What, what's being called in? Oh, it's just the cash. Oh, it's more guns. It, that's the support being called in. Oh, no. Yeah, he screwed. Well, what about the dock? Well, uh, we have game over here with some game impact being the half track, uh, both a base one and also an AA one. Potentially pincering or coming around to annihilate this poor American player. Artillery is pounding him thanks to support guns. Half track, uh, Panzer Deers, sorry, Panzer Jaeger squads pushing on in. Artillery and oh my lord, it's not even a fair fight. Another uh, flak furling just annihilates the enemy. They pick up the MG. I mean, good for them. They they took the position. I'm glad, but like, uh, yeah, it's it's, it's not going great. I don't know why I clicked that open. It's all the information's more up top. 14 kills. How many does that one gentleman have? Shoulder guy. Not much of an army left. He does have a half track, which he could up. Oh, sorry. It's not a half track. Has a bit of a gun on that to fight off armor. So not bad. He's going to pull back. Half track. It was neutralized at the very least. The other one, uh, I think, made it out. Yes, it did. We got a medical facility down here. So he's a very small, but very... Uh, potentially effective uh, armor group here. He has two half tracks. My guess, if I'm him, he's gonna save up for uh, if we go here and go down to his upgrades. Uh, hopefully, yes. Okay, so he's probably will go combat half tracks and then switch them over to mortar half tracks. That way, he can just constantly bomb the allies uh, as effectively as he can. Rangers, though, coming in from the high ground, doing pretty good work. They are being suppressed, but they did enough damage forcing the unit back. So, something to be very cautious about. What's also very interesting is the amount of caches the allies have. They have a lot more, including a medical one, which is quite funny. But yeah, they have a good amount of resources. 76 munitions per turn. So, while yes, the allies are definitely taking hits and, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they're definitely, like, losing men... Oh, we have Gustatore on the field. That might give the Rangers uh, something to fear. Because especially with flamethrowers, they can be quite devastating. Though, these Rangers, we pull them up real quick. 
You can see here that oh no, they only have a Browning. Do they have, does he have a? Do you have more Rangers, sir? Oh, there's the other Rangers. Okay. I'm like, why do you only have one weapon? Ah, he dropped more. Okay. Flamethrowers are effective, but there's probably too many men here for him to actually win. Unless he heals up. Half Track is trying to support the best command he can. We have command points available to us. He's moving on up. The enemy have claimed Rangers our opening fire. Again, Bazooka hitting the infantry, not the armor. But Suppression's out hitting the infantry. So long as they stay out of range of those Bazookas, half... Sorry. Black Valen can just keep up the pressure. Which is right now doing a lot, but Gustatori's so low. And I believe the truck died. Rangers behind. We have three Ranger squads? We do. That's an expensive build. Again, right now VPs are very close, all things considered. Black Verling, how many kills do you have? I, I'll look at that. Six. Okay, not much, but very costly kills for the American. Down south, the American's trying to regroup and organize. Black Verling is, uh, again, just trying to shoot down those planes, but you're really not going to shoot down the supply planes. We have mines in quite a number of locations. Paratroopers. So not rangers, not as effective, but still not bad. They're, especially with their LMGs, they can be uh, decently effective long range. I still think the preferred thing is uh, just American infantry with bars, I feel like, is still preferred. But they can still hold their own, especially a good, good cover against, like, an MG. Maybe you smoke it with the Pathfinder, get close, and then have the uh, guys with LMGs just annihilate. All right. Or, yep, there's the mortar half track as called out earlier. Looks like uh, something, uh, well, maybe the ranger squad knocked it out. But there's so much infantry here. He's going to need artillery. Now, your third, your first main, uh, thirst, your first main guess might be get a Stuka gray shot. Uh, wrong. Don't get a Stuka. That is a terrible idea. Stukas, unless the patch, which I need to go into more detail, has made them even more viable, the spread and damage is not all that great. It's just not quite effective because uh, you called it in a sector and it doesn't feel like it's all that effective at killing stuff um, which is weird because I feel like Co 3 is more squishy than Co 2 but anyway um, maybe that's just me uh, man this guy just can't catch a break uh, medical dead here medical dead there medical dead everywhere uh, sport gun moving on up again looks like this guy got stunned by the British infantry which we haven't seen too much of is it because there's not many? Yeah, Pineapple doesn't have too much, but at least he has a howitzer. Aaron C gets you that. And also an AT gun for armor. The enemy has taken a victory but point. are we starting to see... Okay, this is more of an AT, but does have a little bit of arty. Uh, Let's see, we have the half track. And a bit of a pickle. Has he got any kills with that? No, the 75 is just mainly focused on infantry. Most likely with the artillery call uh, build he has. Let's see. Infantry being suppressed by the MG. The howitzer is pounding him, though. Though, medical is probably can heal through it. Slowly but surely he's healing through it. Again, these black furlings are out in mass and so far, very effective all on all fronts. Right now, that's really helping to keep the axis ahead. Victory point-wise, we have about a 30-plus point lead. So that's pretty damn solid. Almost 40. This flak filling, though, is barely alive. Vet 2 can't, you know, don't doubt it. Support gun, I think it's hitting the building, is it not? Are you going to fire? Are you going to miss? We'll see. Please don't, you know, neutralize or keep hitting the building. Although, he knows where he's healing, so i got to assume he's going to target it, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, but triple rangers is a major threat. Suppressing them is the key. And also artillery to break up that position. Very important. So if he can neutralize that with artillery and use his men to just delay the rangers, he can win this in the long term. Um, as long as the allies don't get, you know, too much support. Which, Raccoon... No, he's upped his rangers even more with ranger weapon training. He's foregoing the, you know, the mass infantry charge. Okay. Armor, though, is pushing on in. British losing their howitzer and a T gun in that maneuver. Again, oh, eight rad. Okay. Oh, sorry, not eight rad. Sorry. Half track with a auto cannon. Jesus. My brain is not working, apparently. I, I saw that and I'm like, eight rad. No, no, it's not. Anyway, British moving on in, but I just don't know what the plan is exactly. 
because uh, you have no AT and you're pushing up against troops that are designed to kill infantry. So I don't know if that's the best plan. Down south, again, the British uh, are unable to support. So it's pretty much the American going solo against the this dock player. This dock is a pretty good assortment of weapons. Like, he's not going to be easily knocked out. But hopefully this bulldozer might do enough. Bulldozer uh, chilling around the corner. All right. Let's see. Oh, we actually have a flank again. I mean, to be fair, the Brit's not there. The resources got to be helping the allies, but also, like, army-wise, they are suffering pretty bad. If we look at overall, it's like 50s, probably upper 50s. Allies are four, upper 40s, upper 20s. 50, so... Uh, let's say mid-40s? At best? So, not too bad, but still not a great position to be in. You want to be ahead. Oh, this is not going to help. Again, AT. Bulldozer has a lot of armor, but I still think this thing can probably kill it, so long as it doesn't get well hit by AT. Nope, this AT gun snipes... The, uh, the mortar carriage. The mortar carriage, Jesus Christ. Snipes the 75. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, this AT gun didn't kill the bulldozer and got away with it. So that goes a lot of the allied like resource advantage. It, ever so slight, it does impact it. So the, I would say the south or this sector, because technically, well, yeah, no, it is the south. Okay. Yeah, the south is pretty much fallen. I don't see the American really able to counterattack in a major way. Um, what do, what doctrine does this gentleman have? Lizard King, again, Versalieri. So he has strafing around artillery. Yeah, he should anything that's really you know stuck in there. He could just already or you know call on stuff to kill it. So, all right, we have our. Uh, are you trying to put beacons behind the lines or try to kill this stuff? Not terrible. And kill support gun if you can. All right, up north we got ourselves the Black Verling, barely alive. Abstract Gustatori being hit by a light artillery thanks to the uh, other infantry. Did you lose a Ranger squad? No, they're just patrolling or healing. Nope, he's gearing on up for a counterattack. Okay, placing mines. Looks like we have a counterattack or, or gearing up for from this gentleman. So yeah, Goliath is trying his best. Goose again, you can't hide in a building. You will die. It's it's simple as that. Uh Axis are five field down. Almost half of munitions. And the Axis allies sorry, let me phrase that. The Axis don't have two uh or aren't too negative on munitions. They have a respectable amount. It's just the amount of resources the allies have overall. So let's double check. Goliath. Oh, he's calling registered artillery to help break that sector. Of that allied counterattack. Bazooka luckily misses. Hits the mine, which delays action of him charging up the hill. Artillery hits him too. They're gonna try to heal him up, and luckily he's gonna uh, fall back. Um, medical's still fine, but the that cash did die, which will impact. I mean, okay, it will impact allied resources, but they're still at 71 per turn. Like, he's doing pretty good. If he keeps gearing up, he can. Essentially, I mean, like, he'll just have reserves of what to do whatever he wants with. Where the allies, uh, sorry, allies, the Axis have to be a little bit more conservative with it. Alright. But we'll see how things go. Alright. We have heavy bombers coming on in, thanks to the airborne. Uh, we'll see what they do, but again, I feel like... The Oh, there's an MG in the building. Uh, no. I mean, it, it, you hit the church, but you didn't bring it down. Did kill the AT gun. There is another one around the corner, and the MG should probably retreat. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure what he wants to do. Just get out of there. That's a hell... That is a weird position to be in. Like, ah, oh, yes. Can't wait for him to come through the, the main gate with that arc. But, uh... 
Hold on, does he not have any armor? Oh no, he has Panzer three. He has Panzer three moving on up. Air supporting the left. Strafing air. Oh my god. Well, there goes the Grant. It's like, guys, we have armor! No, you don't. Where's the artillery coming down? I hear it. I just don't see it. Oh, it's like in this area. Okay, I guess they were just pulverizing the British. Which, uh, yes, no, the Grant. I mean, it's, that's a lot of firepower. Compared to the three tanks, what? That's the most firepower. Crusader is the fastest. Matilda has the armor. Matilda be the... Uh, the one that can take all the hits. Unfortunately, fire comes on in, but it's more delaying him rather than doing much. Although, again, he's very low. Raccoon has three rangers left. And they have to start leading the way soon. Otherwise, uh, this game is over. I love how, by the way, this one, Vet 3, 29 kills. This one, Vet 2, 3 kills. Although armor, so that kind of makes up for it. And 16 for the other. One of these things, not like the other. Alright, Panzer 3 moving on up. And we have a Grant. Curious to see how they engage each other. I'm assuming Grant would prevail. Oh, boo. oh we have AT. Additional AT, anyway. Uh, through the infantry. Panzer providing support. Oh! Giving uh, definitely supporting against it. Almost kills the Grant. Barely gets out of there. Panzer, uh, four. Sorry, Panzer three on standby. We have another bombing run coming on in, but he's trying to move his stuff away. Support gun and the pack gun, respectively. Oh, it gets it! Both of them get neutralized. All of, not even retreating. All right, that's a good kill. Uh, Panzer four looks like it took hits. And surprise, surprise, the Americans retaking the south. Solid effort. But uh, again, that doesn't stop game over here. Weird name. Does stop game from just holding on to this uh, victory point for dear life, which is pushing the Allies down to under half what the Allies have. But again, I I, I'll, I have to say the resource aspect is helping the Allies. Their bombing strikes and additional support is slowly help push them back. Now, uh, they need more than just bombing strikes. They need an actual, you know, concentrate effort. Oh, there goes that medical facility. Because yeah, otherwise. Wow, really? You've got yourself a motorcycle. Okay. But yeah, even though they could be like, ah, oh, yes, we're, you know, uh, we're, they're not killing my infantry. Well, most of the Rangers, at least. It's still a position where it's not great. Um, where, again, you're losing a lot of men. It's very costly to get them back. And the German player is successfully holding on to the victory point and then can slowly push you back. It might be uh, definitely a hard fight for him every time the Rangers pop their head out. Oh, oh! He put made another one over here? Okay, so they don't have too far to retreat to. But so, he is slowly advancing. And again, we'll see how long he can keep that up. Munition point on uh, the center is being taken. We may have a small counterattack. Panzer three pulling back. We have a second one on the field. Real quick, uh, how are we looking for upgrades for the Lizard King? We have nothing? Really? Nothing. No upgrades? I mean, it costs manpower. I get it. But we have no upgrades for any of the armor, the infantry. Okay. What about the rest of the guys? Goliath? Anything? Oh, I... Sorry. Go Lizard King. Let's double check that. Okay, you do have... I was... Wait. Do you? Yes, you do. You have tungsten rounds. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Goliath has none. Trying to push up here. Potentially a good strike right there. AT guns could kill the Panzer three though. Double shot. There it goes. And artillery is counterattacking in a big way. And was it game? It was the last one. He oh he's going for. He got his tiger calling. Is he going for a tiger? He well, I don't know about that. Hold on, let's. I, I don't think you have the resources for that, but, you know. Again, the gentleman coming on in. I feel so bad for uh, Shoulder Guy. Because, yeah, he's on the shoulder, and every time he just thinks, like, I'm winning this game. No. 
Although bombing strike comes on in, knocks out the support equipment, doesn't kill the the auto cannon on the on that half track, but or doesn't just kill it, I should say. But still does a decent amount of damage. I don't know if the tiger is the best thing to, for game to call in, right? And the reason I say that is he just doesn't have the resources to call it in anytime soon. It's gonna be like good eh, six minutes if he's lucky. Well, I mean, if it, you know, they keep getting getting more re uh, territory, but I don't know. Anyway, let's double check the overall kills for each player. Uh, I think Raccoon is in no, not Raccoon. Shoulder Guys actually has most kills. Uh, let's see who has the most. I think. Oh, it's Game. Game has it. British though, flanking from the high ground, and the Grant's coming on in. Not a bad position to be in. All things considered. They're like hugging the corner, trying to hit the targets from above. Because, yeah, positioning definitely does help. Now, AT shots firing, sport guns are returning fire, I assume. No, we see he, they're counterattacking the howitzer, which also the British have an AA gun. Okay. Flamethrower is hitting the, uh, the troops. Forcing them back. Some good shots, all things considered. Panzer three giving, uh, doing his best. Still gonna pull back. Lots of artillery coming on in. It's a 305. Oh, I forgot to go over. So yeah, armored skirts, Italian arms, and armored support. Versing the airborne, we already saw that. We definitely have the uh, advanced infantry. And uh, yeah, air and sea. Which, oh, the naval bombardment's actually what calling in. Okay, I thought, sorry, I thought it was a BJ. Oh, okay. Hellcat on the field. Panzer three might need to worry. Bombing strike does a very successful hit. Doesn't kill him, but does make it, uh, wow actually does reduce his armor and infantry quite a bit oh god damn Goli okay goliath is saving on up is he close i'm sorry is not game is goliath oh i'm sorry did i mix up game and goliath no they both got it but where game uh buddy i don't think you're gonna get tiger anytime soon the other guy i can see it goliath is very close to getting a tiger and unfortunately for the American player, aka Raccoon, he doesn't. Yes, okay, he does have a lot of bazookas. So you're gonna have to rely purely on infantry to take down the tiger. Meanwhile, massive armor battle going on in mid. Love to see it. Hellcats and Grants being, by the way, hit by artillery. And nice shot by the uh, pack. Engaging. Panzer three fighting the Hellcats. We need uh, AT. Panzer Grenadiers, get in there. Up, uh, Panzer three goes down. Hellcat goes down, but grenades hit the Hellcat. Grant's still there, so I don't know if he wants to move in the armor. Oh, oh, it's a command, uh, sorry, a Panzer four command tank. Nice shots with the uh, pack gun. Again, still there. Oh, he moved up, bad move, and the Hellcat goes down. I guess he was trying to get a kill on something, but uh, yeah, that did not pan out. Honestly, that's some big losses for both sides, but I think the the allies it's a little bit more costly because if we look at the uh, overall like How do I say this? Uh, well the time in which also the victory points Allies are down considerably and the Axis are well doing quite well all things considered. Look. Oh nice job decommissioning that I Get there all get all those resources you can Grant's coming on in like, uh, you can't take my, you can't use our tanks against us. Panzer Grenadier's like, yes, we can. Hopefully he doesn't get, you know, annihilated while trying to heal that. I mean, not heal, but salvage it. But South is pretty much under, uh, what's his name? The Lizard King's control. British forces, by the way, good veterancy on them. Rangers as well, they have some very solid infantry with friends. 14 kills, 12. Black Furling, let's give you a little shout out. Only nine. 
We have an air. Oh, here come the bombers. They're coming on in. He's oh! Okay, I thought the bombers were coming in. Turns out naval artillery and bombers were coming on in. Who could have guessed it? Speaking of guessing, I guessed that correctly. Tigers on the field. Opening fire, killing the... Oh, he... That retreat could be very bad. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna live. Tiger gets him right as he was about to turn the corner. That's unfortunate. So, free bazooka if you want it. Uh, they do have the beacons up against infantry, but I mean, like... You're gonna need more than a single howitzer. Which, by the way, how many kills does this thing have? 13, so not too many, but still... Uh, we'll see if those rangers are gonna do enough. We're just trying to push up on the victory point, but the German artillery is keeping them away. Thanks to registered artillery. Just support guns, too, are just causing constant issues across the board. We have another cache going down. Also a cache on the field. Population-wise, Germans are... I would say probably upper 50s, like very top or low 60s. Allies. I've come back. Oh, never mind. Shoulder guy. Oh, shoulder guy. What happened to you? And you're about to lose more. Damn. Uh, shoulder guy giving a GG. Wow. All right. 39 points remaining. Air support coming on. Hang the Grants. But Grants might be able to get a kill if they're lucky. No, no kills. Rangers, though, going in south. I was expecting versing the Tiger, but no. They're going in against Game. Uh, and Game was pretty high, but now he's lost so much. Flamethrower units and everything else just killing him. Just going around, just murdering a lot of the middle player. Again, we were. I was kind of expecting something. We saw him do that a little bit earlier. Infantry cannot kill that. They killed the cash that was just placed. They're doing work. They are absolutely doing work. Flak filling though, is going to cause suppression. Doing its best to stop those rangers dead in its tracks. I know there are bridges here. I'm just like concerned that it's like something will come on in and just kill something. But looks like Tiger took some heavy hits thanks to the artillery. Forcing it back, and maybe some bazooka men. Hold on. Shoulder guy is no army. Raccoon is... Uh, maybe he lost the engineer or something? Or mines? Kind of a mix. Oh, it attacks units close range. That's what it is. Okay. Maybe the artillery neutralized it. Alright. We have another uh, air strike coming on in. Bombs. Kind of hitting the bridge, but not really. Kind of just hits this overall area. It doesn't do that much and they can't hold up uh, vetted bursillary you're not fighting that like I'm sorry that's just not happening uh, another tiger has made its debut and it's uh, pushing against Grant tiger wins that fight Grant number two might be able to help sweep things over maybe especially with an AT gun but we'll see tiger is been neutralized what the hell Rangers doing everything they can to kill it I am a little saddened by the fact I didn't have that. What was that? If I can, re well, if I can replay this, all right, 30 minutes. Well, absolutely try to check that out. Grants with the AT gun support. Never discount the AT gun. Actually managing to force that tiger away. The Axis thought the tigers would be the, the uh, instant win button. It was not. It was not. They're holding on to this position. We do have a lot of German forces pushing across. Ursulary moving on in. Paratroopers dropped in. Okay. Grenade is thrown but misses. What is that? We got a support gun uh, firing across. Trying to support against the paratroopers. Allies barely clinging on with 14 points, but as we saw, shorter guy doesn't have too much. He has two units, so this is a desperate fight. Luckily, the Brits, of all players, actually, uh, doing a small counterattack. The infantry section in the Grants, killing everything in the way. Remember, Grants have a high damage. As long as they can survive the hits, 
and are just forward facing, they can do a lot. Hellcat dove on in. Goliath is pushing out, out, but I'm sorry, Hellcat. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have much. He lost a lot. Yeah, I don't know what to say. We have air support coming on in. Really? Panzer? Panzer IV. Okay, he got that. I mean, he just probably called it in. Sure. Bombing or a strike coming in again. Kind of misses the target. Half track pushing forth. Not too much to say about that. Just kind of a, a throw for shoulder guy again. But three grants are on the field. And they're locking down this position. Doing the best they can with what they have. So not bad. Not bad with these grants. All right. Uh, where's that tiger? This is a, uh, a 2v3. Buddy, you're literally fighting a guy with no army. Like, what is happening? Uh, yes, uh, the gentleman in the north. The rangers are absolutely starting to pulverize, and they needed to do that at the moment they did. Grants are now pushing on up. Command Panzer cannot fight that. There it goes. Grants continue their advance. Again, they're trying. They have a force here, but they just can't cross thanks to the infantry. You got carried so hard. By what? Uh, Grants are pushing across. Nope. They're pulling back. Okay. It's like this is when a unit gets stuck. What is my... Oh. Okay. I'm like, what is Kirby doing? My cat, by, by the way. Just, just get, get, you know, being rambunctious. Looks like the new target is the bridge. I guess they're like, well, we... Uh, best way to stop the axis from coming back is to blow it up. Which, they, if it... I don't know who ordered those men to cross, but uh, bad timing. Yeah, I shoulder guys like I got 2v1 with little help. A <laughs> game's like a why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? Is this happening? Oh my god, I love it. They they can't decide. New tigers on the field, by the way. We'll see how that goes. They're still Rangers, and we have a Hellcat up there. Good veteran see. Again, Axis forces gathering up. I have to assume that Red lost his. Yeah, he lost it. Artillery in this sector, but I, okay. Like all they need to do is push up and take this point and they win. Tiger's even grabbing the territory. Uh, you're going to need artillery back here. And you're going to need additional infantry. And not get in suppression range. Or throw smoke on it. Something. Tiger having a rough time. Massive battle in the south. But Grant's pull back where the German armor. Oh, lots of fire coming in. Oh, my lord. Aaron C getting good hit. Tiger just having a rough time even getting a shot on those rangers. That artillery was gonna start. Yeah, it's gonna start counterattacking the tiger. Man, he dug in like a tick, but raccoon prevailed. And Hellcat coming back, side armor. Like, what are you doing? There we go. Use your speed. And there it goes. Great shots with the bazooka teams, and the Hellcat to make him turn so his rear could be hit. Uh, the Rangers could see. Good stuff. The bridge back up. Bridge is not back up. This only this one. Again, they just need one. Goliath left the game. All right. Well. Wow. That's uh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Tiger's good for support, but being the only thing that you have is not a good idea. Like multiple armored units 
could, like helping each other would probably be way better overall support than that, but I don't know. Yeah, th this guy has to be like, what is today? We have another bombing run coming on in. A lot of forces grouped up together. Again, Lizard King Purple's last one left. Luckily, he pulled most of his men out, but unfortunately, the uh, troops still took some damage. Suka's firing, hitting this sector. Take, I mean, some buildings fell. He's like unreal. Yeah, I would, I would say so, man. I, I would say this has been a bit of a weird game. But that's again, you have one side free and able to help his team. Better late than never, I guess. I mean, to be fair, man, you should not. You need to guard against the bridge, right? I was legit not having fun. Uh, Suka died. At least okay, I got that. Grenades thrown. Again, you're just gonna lock that territory down. With shoulder guy taking the southern one, grabbing some Hellcats, pushing on in against the base. Oh, another. Oh, oh, he got a tiger. Oh boy. Lizard King got Tiger this time, but he actually has an army to back it up. Grant's having a tough time penetrating that Panzer IV armor. We have artillery coming on in. I believe it's artillery. It's the Air and Sea uh, artillery. And the naval artillery. Unfortunately, both sides lost armor. But it's going to impact Lizard King a lot more. He can't afford to lose it. Grant, by the way, event three. 24 kills. I don't know where you're going, medical truck, but you're going to die. Uh, AI trying to push forward, but yeah, bazookas just in a, a couple of shots. Wait, how many bazookas does that man have? He has five? That thing has five bazookas. Just killed in two shots. Holy shit. Rangers lead the goddamn way. Tiger Tank trying to lead a counterattack. Could dodge. He does with the AT gun support. Kill the Grand. If he could grab the South and grab that, he could win this game. Do I think he'll do that? No. Right now, the man with the uh, Hellcats is currently fighting infantry, so... But luckily, uh, Loser King does have the infantry to take that position. So it's pretty much, a, I would say, a GG. I love the grenades hitting it, and the grenades coming up to support. What a terrible game. Tiger goes down. No, I, I think that, I mean... Hey, the guy, you never killed the man's, I don't think you killed any of the rangers. I'll verify that. But you just have rangers that just keep getting more and more veterancy. Gonna fast forward through the last minute. Cause there's not much. The enemy have only 25 points left. Wow. The boss are breaking. Just a lot, a lot of coke, a molding. <laughs> It's like, no, no, guys, it wasn't it. Guys, obviously, it wasn't me. Obviously. I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Obviously, obviously, it should have been, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, you know, I did everything correctly. Um, let's double check that, shall we? Also, <laughs> interesting profile pictures, uh, or I guess lack thereof. I'm assuming it's because I haven't updated the game yet. It's just bugging out. Anyway, uh, let's double check uh, kills. Goliath, top kills. Uh, top damage also goes to Goliath. On the flip side, we that we go to uh, the Axis. Uh, no, sorry, the Allies. And we go 33,000 uh, for Raccoon. Top kills, also Raccoon. Yeah, Raccoon's the one who submitted this. And uh, yeah, let's go through. Support guns, pretty on point. They were absolutely devastating the enemy. Doing a damn good job providing that uh, very good very critical support to drive the enemy away and again uh, let's see who are who are we on right now so we are on game i thought it was pretty good in mid um weird assortment of vehicles he got there especially with like the command panzer four and such but hey uh yeah you know i thought you did okay um you came in to assist your ally that's the big thing grants you know they got they actually proved themselves quite a bit 
And, for, and your infantry section got a decent amount of kills. Never lost them. So, you know, you definitely had some issues. But overall, uh, I think the biggest issue for yourself, or if I'm thinking of this, yeah, Pineapple, was the fact he built so many caches, he just didn't have a lot to stop game from moving in to attack shoulder guy. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next player. Yeah, Tiger Tank, by the way, five kills. It not, not, didn't do all that much. I'm surprised the flak verling is that low. How's your flak verling? Only 11. I guess it's more of a suppression than the infantry killer. But yeah, it was definitely keeping those rangers and stuff at bay. Or just most of the solid allied infantry at bay. Uh, not too much to speak of. I mean, Bursaliri in the south, I guess they are doing fine. But support gun, not nearly as good as the other gentleman. So kind of probably the weakest player right there. So again, I... Just to put in perspective, Lizard King is probably the weakest player, and he's the one that didn't leave. So, just kind of pointing it out there. Paratroopers did okay, but, I mean, he deployed uh, quite a bit. Um, not Nothing really standing out, honestly. Anything that has a decent kills is produced a lot, so it kind of negates that a bit. Um... Flackverling, like, here's the way. Yeah, 41 kills. Absolute monster. This tiger did better, but there's two of them, so can't really give him too much credit. Uh, Pedrigadiers did fine. Gustatori, not as effective as I thought it would be, but still, again, he was constantly fighting very powerful infantry. So I'll give credit where credit's due for bottling up Raccoon. Raccoon just cannot be pushed out. 127 kills! Holy crap. And again, none of them died. He never lost a ranger squad. He just transferred the rifleman to them. Which is hilarious that so it doesn't count as a loss. But still, look at that kill count. Insane. Insane stuff indeed. Did I go, did I go for... Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, but overall, uh, I, I think that was a pretty solid game showing why rangers lead the goddamn way and can literally turn the tide of battle. Also, uh maybe support your team but have an army so you don't your team doesn't just get decked on that might help but hey uh let me know what you guys think down below this has been gray shot 17 and i'll see you guys next time hello everyone this is gray shot 17 and before y'all go let me give a special shout out to patreon supporters joey g240 malam big cooch afaria ace pyro shark tony b 95 epic pleb Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.